Pollinator pockets are small plantings of flowers designed to attract pollinating butterflies, moths, bees, and other insects. These plants can include both native and ornamental species that are known to attract pollinators. It's best to select a combination of species that will provide blooms throughout the growing season. Planting pollinator pockets is a great way to help the insects so important to our environment. The University of Illinois Extension has designs for pollinator pockets, and there's a lot more information on the pocket website. If you're going to plant a pocket in your yard, the first step is to designate the boundaries of the bed. This can be done by measuring using stakes, using a garden hose, or using marking paint to trace the outline of the bed. In this case, the bed will be a half circle added to an existing bed, measured, then staked, and the perimeter of the bed marked with a hose. If the bed is to be created in an area of existing turf grass, there's no need to till the area or remove the grass. Disturbing the area may promote the germination of weed seeds, and the dead grass will provide a layer of nutrients for the new plants. There are several methods for planting through turf grass. One method is to mow the grass as close as possible to the ground. To keep from working your mower too hard, you may need to lower the bed of the mower in stages until you reach the lowest setting. The grass clippings can be used as mulch over the mowed grass. A second method is to apply a non-selective herbicide containing glyphosate which will kill the grass and any other vegetation present in our pollinator pocket. It takes about a week to kill the grass. Always read and follow label directions. Wear long pants, long sleeves, and gloves. You can then add a few inches of mulch and plant through the mulch and dead grass. A third method is to place black plastic sheeting on top of the turf. This may take a number of weeks to kill the grass, depending upon how warm it is. A two to three inch layer of mulch should be added once the grass has died and the plastic is removed. When using the mowed grass method, about four layers of newspaper should be placed on top of the mowed grass, wetting each layer as it is placed. In the fall, you can apply six or eight inches of dry leaves over the top of the newspaper and then hold that in place with a layer of mulch. You can plant right through the mulch and leaves down through the turf in the spring. If the new bed is created during the spring, you should place six to eight inches of mulch over the wet newspapers. You can then immediately plant by digging through the mulch and wet newspapers and into the soil. Using this method may not be as effective in killing the growing grass in spring and may require more maintenance than creating the bed in fall. Soil, moisture, and sunlight requirements should be considered when selecting plants for your bed, as well as placing the plants within the bed. In this case, the bed includes areas of full and part sun. The soil is mesic to part clay and moderately moist. Plants have been selected that grow best in those particular conditions. Plants should be arranged according to their height with the shorter plants in front. You also need to consider the spread of the plants and leave ample room for spread. You can arrange similar plants according to color or species. First, brush away the mulch and then dig through the layers of leaves or newspapers or both. The top of the soil in the root ball or container should be level with the top of the turf grass. You should water in the plant at this point. Ornamentals may need some fertilizer, but don't put any fertilizer on native plants. They're accustomed to the soil in the area, and additional fertilizer may cause them to grow leggy. You should replace one to two inches of mulch on top of the soil. Try to keep it away from the base or the stem of the plant, because it may promote rot of the stem. You can then apply some additional water over the mulch. You may also need depending on whether you have a lot of rabbits or squirrels in the area, to protect the new plants. You can make chicken wire enclosures, leaving the top open. You can use a little stake to hold them in place. Depending upon rainfall, you may need to provide the plants with additional water. 
Keep in mind the mulch will help retain some moisture, so you need to be careful not to overwater the plants. If the plants look like they're drooping, they may need water. If they're turning yellow, that may be a sign of overwatering. You may have some weeds or grass coming up through the mulch, so you'll need to pull the weeds and pull or dig out the turf grass if possible. If not, you could apply herbicide very carefully to the grass, but be very careful not to let it drift on your plants and kill them. Before long, you will be able to enjoy the colorful flowers you've planted and the beneficial insects they attract. You'll also know you are doing your part in improving our local environment. For more information on pollinator pockets, visit the University of Illinois Extension website at go.illinois.edu slash pockets.